Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review, or at least making a start of my review, of The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. This is an old pan books edition. Um, the reason I'm... Basically, the cat keeps stealing all the tabs out of my books, so that's why I tend to film them in chunks. Because I've already lost two of the things that I was going to talk about in this one. Uh, we have a blurb here. Agatha Christie, the acknowledged queen of detective fiction the world over by The Observer. Two innocents in search of adventure. An elusive young woman. Holder of a vital secret. A faceless man with a blueprint for anarchy. The Secret Adversary. A story of international intrigue. A thrill-packed race against time with all the Christie hallmarks of suspense and ingenuity. So uh, this is the first of the Tommy and Tuppence books. And it's definitely a product of its time in some way. I think it was 1922, did it say? First published 1922, yeah. Bearing in mind that it's 1922, this character is saying it uh, might possibly bring about another war. Not with Germany this time. That is an extreme possibility, and I do not believe in its likelihood myself. But that document undoubtedly implicates a number of our statesmen, whom we cannot afford to have discredited in any way at the present moment. As a party cry for Labour, it would be irresistible, and a Labour government at this juncture would, in my opinion, be a grave disability for British trade. But that is nothing, nothing to the real danger. So the real danger is the Bolsheviks! Of course it is! We get this little exchange, which we do appreciate, especially bearing in mind it was 1922, it was almost 100 years ago. I'll look after her, sir, said Tommy. And I'll look after you, retorted Tuppence, resenting the manly assertion. We get, um, right at the beginning as well, the prologue is about the Lusitania, the sinking of the Lusitania, which is quite cool. Obviously the sinking wasn't cool, the sinking was a tragedy, but the, the you know. So I thought this was amusing. This is uh, chapter 7, The House in Soho. Uh, and he's trying to, Tommy's trying to follow someone. It says, the sport was a new one to him. Though familiar with the technicalities from a course of novel reading, he had never before attempted to follow anyone, and it appeared to him at once that, in actual practice, the proceeding was fraught with difficulties. Supposing, for instance, that they should suddenly hail a taxi. In books, you simply leapt into another, promised the driver a sovereign, or its modern equivalent, and there you were. In actual fact, Tommy foresaw that it was extremely likely there would be no second taxi, therefore he would have to run. What happened in actual fact to a young man who ran incessantly and persistently through the London streets? In a main road he might hope to create the illusion that he was merely running for a bus, but in these obscure aristocratic byways he could not but feel that an officious policeman might stop him to explain matters. This uh, amused me. I guess she won't get away with the goods this time. Albert uttered another ejaculation, indicative of delight. I always enjoy spotting the ejaculations. There's another one here, where is it? What a pity, I ejaculated. We do have a bit of a cliche, uh, Janet Vandermeyer, one of the characters, uh, is suffering from basically short-term amnesia as like a plot device, which I do know a lot of people hate. I don't mind it, I guess. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I definitely wouldn't go out of my way for it, but I can live with it. So basically, this person has lost their memory because of this traumatic incident, and they think, I know what will bring her memory back. We'll scare the shit out of them by staging a repeat of that traumatic incident. I like this little conversation, especially because Christy uses French a lot in her writing, especially obviously having uh, Poirot be, uh, be a Belgian, but... Uh, a delirious thought shot through Tommy's mind. Are you Jane Finn? He asked breathlessly. The girl shook her head wonderingly. My name is Annette, monsieur. She spoke in a soft, broken English. Oh, said Tommy, rather taken aback. Francaise, he hazarded. Oui, monsieur. Monsieur parle français? Not for any length of time, said Tommy. What's that, breakfast? And, and then I'm there like, yeah, petit déjeuner. Mon petit déjeuner est ici. She farm. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the characters has got a gun called Little Willie, so he says, Little Willie here travels around with me everywhere. And then on the same page we get, feeling more tongue-tied than ever, Tommy ejaculated, oh! So we get this little conversation. Uh, Tommy introduced Tuppence. Ha, said Sir William, eyeing her. Girls aren't what they used to be in my young days. Yes, they are, said Tuppence. Their clothes are different, perhaps, but they themselves are just the same. Well, perhaps you're right. Minx is then, Minx is now. That's it, said Tuppence. I'm a frightful Minx myself. I believe you, said the old gentleman, chuckling, and pinched her ear in a high good humour. Most young women were terrified of the old bear, as they termed him. Tuppence, Tuppence's pertness delighted the old misogynist. Some things never change. Oh, and then I like that there's um, a clue as well, which is that somebody spelled Tuppence wrong. They've spelled it out like two pence, because they've only ever heard it. They've never seen it. Um, written down. So yeah, all in all, I did enjoy The Secret Adversary. I'd probably give it a pretty solid 3.75 out of 5. I am uh, a Tommy and Tuppence fan anyway, so it was just nice for me to go back 
to, you know, to the very beginning with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're really into like classic Christie as well, then it's def definitely one that you should read, even if you don't read the rest of the Tommy and Tuppence books. So there we have it, that's what I thought of The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye